All right, guys. It is time. The day has come today, tonight. It is time. You guys probably don't know what I'm talking about, but I do. It is time. I didn't think this day would ever come. So guys, you know, everybody left, right? Everybody left me, right? Just me and Scrappy, right? So guys, since everybody left, I thought it would be a good opportunity to do this thing. You guys might take it as a joke, but I don't think it's a joke at all. Not even close to a joke. I think this is serious. This is beyond serious. This isn't joking. This is no joking matter. This is, this is absolutely serious right now. I don't know if I want to tell you guys. But I think I'm going to tell you. So guys, what this serious thing is, look, the serious thing that I'm doing right now, and you guys might think it's a joke, but guys, I am going on a journey. Not anywhere far. It's going to be right here. Right here. Right now. It involves. It involves. It involves a TV. It involves a controller. It involves a basketball. Not a real basketball, but a fake basketball. It involves a basketball court. It involves a basketball hoop. It involves a basketball rim and a net. If you guys haven't guessed it yet, I will be training the next three days on practicing 2K so I can start playing and start taking dubs and they can start receiving L's. So there will be a new 2K member when we all reunite back together. And I ain't playing no games. So guys, you will see this video tonight of me training. Me training to get better at 2K. I will be playing non-stop games for you guys. Game after game. Black top after black top. It's about to go down. I ain't playing no games, like I said. We better do this. Give this video a thumbs up, because I'm about to go crazy in 2K. It's about to go down. Down. Chris, you going down. Jordan, you going down. Armand, you going down. Vante, you going down. It's going down. Tonight, tomorrow, and the next day over with all i need is three days and it's over with and i hope you guys see this video because you better be practicing too i'm out <laughs> here and so is the big diesel Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight it'll be the Phoenix Suns going up against the Golden State Warriors. Well for the Warriors they continue to pile up the wins only one loss in weeks they expect to win. It makes him a nightmare for any team he goes up against and for both of these teams Chris injuries have reared their ugly head of late. That's too bad they are at less than full strength. This is a part of the game, though. This is a part of life. Sometimes you just have to deal with it. Nobody's feeling sorry for you in the NBA. That's why you got 12 to 15 guys in this roster. Now it's just time for the next man to step up. Did you feel, Chris, as you went through games like this and some of your bigger names were gone and you had to rely on the bench, this made your team stronger down the stretch? Yeah, Kevin, this does, especially if the team was looking for playoff experience. A lot of guys, you know, you only get that experience in practice.
practice. You want some guys to go through their ups and downs during the season. If you get that playing time, hopefully you'll get that star player back. And that player that was on the bench still has that momentum going to help carry you in the playoffs. Very good point. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. Offense and defense with Durant and Draymond at the three and the four. Livingston and Thompson are the guards. And it's Pachulia in at the center position. Okay, we got a nice little back and forth going here. And I love it, Greg. Both sides inflicting damage from the perimeter. We'll see how the defense is adjusted. There's Green with the three. Tyson Chandler grabs the board. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Ewis kicks to Warren, lets it go from deep. Green with the rebound. Golden State's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Thompson for the triple. No good, shot missing. And Phoenix will come the other way. Coming off that win against Minnesota. And always tough on the road, but that attack mindset that they brought offensively, I really felt like that set them apart. Well, also great execution. Let's not forget about that. Being active gets you only so far if you lack the physical. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Here's Warren, and the Suns take on two more. Now that makes them 80% from the floor early on. Let's see how long they can stay this high. Durant against Warren. Outside Durant to stop the run. Rebound by the Suns. Active defense making things very hard on him as he goes in for the layup. Chandler is screen. Here's Horan. Who dishes it to Ulis. Durant with the steal. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. And Jackson with the block. And Jackson is an impressive defender using his huge wingspan to turn away shots. And it's Green missing. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And one of the things that stands out about Josh Jackson out of Kansas, his playmaking ability at that board position. For a guy 6'8", you can put the ball in his hands and let him create offense for you, much like a Draymond Green. Durant, that's good. Uh, when Durant is looking to score off the catch like that, there isn't a lot you can do as a defender. Got that one up quick. Warren's got six points. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And you knew after the big decision to come to Golden State from Oklahoma City that Kevin Durant would feel some heat from fans around the league. And overall, he did a good job, I thought, C. Webb, of tuning it out. And he had an incredible year. His first year with the Warriors. You're right, Kevin. And fans can hate the fact he joined a great team, but it clearly was the right move. I mean, look at these numbers. A career year in so many categories. Field goal percentage, blocks, rebounds. I mean, he just played well last year. Now, here's Ulis. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. It's stolen by Green. Now the Warriors moving it up. Chris with the rebound. Not a very consistent quarter for him in terms of the shoot. Shoots a three, and that comes off the assist by Ulis. Ulis has got three assists in the game. Stolen by Chris. Here's Warren. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Warriors trail by eight. Over in the corner, Livingston. 143 left to play in the first quarter. Over in the corner, Green. Again, the miss by Green. But he doesn't look like himself right now. Now, here's Ulis. He's covered by Livingston. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how the skill and athleticism and that competitive spirit to be considered still among the very best. I told you guys, I ain't playing no games. It's all seriousness out here. Until next time. Until my next practice session.
Got three days left. Let's get it. Don't forget. Like, comment, and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys want me to keep practicing to beat these bums. Bonte, Chris, Jordan, and Armand. Peace.